Hello everyone, welcome back. Another episode of uh, winter e-biking. Anyways, all the snow has melted. So I don't have to worry about that. It is still cold, although um, it should be in the 40s. Uh, I, I'm already warm. I'm already getting too warm here, but uh, once we get riding, I'm sure it's going to get cold or colder. So I'll still wear this outfit. If I have to take the jacket off, I can easily do that. I can easily take the jacket off. I'd rather be warm and comfortable than cold and uncomfortable. Anyways. All right. All right, let's turn the bike on, batteries in, everything melted off the bike, excellent. Checking the brakes, that's good, it's good, all right, okay. Kickstand's a little loose, but I think I'll, I'll manage. working. Everything's working. Ooh. All right. Pedal Assist 5, Gear 7. It looks like a, uh, it looks, the road looks really good. I think my PSI is still at 10. I'll, I'll leave it that way. I might go off-roading. But uh, I might not. I might not go off roading. All right. I'm pulling down now, so I know once I get riding, I'm gonna I'm gonna cool off real quick. So. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to exert too much. I'm not going to exert too much. I'm already feeling a little, a little sweaty, but I know I'm going to cool off once I get the bike rolling. So I think I will. I think I will take the streets. Ooh. I think I will take the streets. Let's see, where am I going to go today? Uh, I didn't bring any hot chocolate with me. I don't think the clubhouse is open, but I will ride around the neighborhood, mostly on the streets. Oh. It feels pretty good, actually. I'm enjoying it. I got the same setup as I did when I first went out, when it really was cold, it was snowing, snowing. But uh, obviously nothing like what it was before. Anyways, I might stop here and there. I might stop here and there and just uh, take a quick look around. I, I really like this balaclava. Even with the helmet on it, the balaclava is over the helmet. I'm at the red light. I'm at the red light. I'm not going to pedal hard, I'm already warm, and I'm, I'm leaving at the warmest time of the day, which is hopefully in the 40s, upper 40s. I don't know how long I'm going to be out, but uh, this is, I think today is the last day of the hard freeze. It's going to freeze overnight, and I'm very fortunate, none of my, none of my water pipes busted. 
I, I did have a freeze on the uh, I did have a freeze on one of my pipes the uh, the kitchen faucet which is the plumbing is right next to the wall on the uh, on the coldest side of the house because I was monitoring monitoring the temperature before the internet went out on my Fleet XT2 cameras. Yeah, it started uh, the left side, well, well, the side that the uh, kitchen faucet's on, that was the coldest side before the internet went out and I couldn't monitor the temperatures anymore. All right, got a green light. Green light. All right. So, I'm just going to go with the cadence. I might push push a little bit. But, uh... I'm already warm. I was warm inside the house wearing this. But, uh... We'll see what happens now. So we'll see what happens now that I'm riding the bike on the road. The road, uh, obviously I waited for the temperature to rise above freezing. I don't want to ride in the ice. If you saw my last video, or my last few videos about uh, all-wheel drive, does your e-bike need an all-wheel drive? I would have to say no, because it's not going to help you in the snow. I don't think it's going to help you with dirt all that much either. I see many, many people have the front wheel spin out, and that's what's going to happen because all the weight is in the rear wheel. With or without, a, you know, an electric hub motor, the way the bike is designed, the weight, the weight of the bike is mostly on the rear, on the back wheel. Well, I'm feeling comfortable. That cold breeze is feeling good, actually. Uh, it's starting to get a little overheated. Oh yeah, I'm feeling good. This is the perfect setup. This is probably the last time I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the year, I hope. <laughs> Not that I look forward to riding like this, I don't. Anyways, most of the most of this ride, I might do a GPS uh, Google Street View. If you don't know what that is, though. You're, you're probably gonna see it now. <laughs> Eventually, you'll be seeing it. The ducks are back over there on the left side. Whew, my fingers are starting to get a little chilly. I have to admit, I'm getting acclimated. I'm getting acclimated to the uh, to the uh, cold weather. This doesn't feel really that bad. <laughs> then again, I am kind of dressed for it. Oh yeah. So yeah, all-wheel drive on an electric e-bike. I, I would say that's not necessary. It's uh, redundant redundant at best, useless at most. I think if you're gonna, you could probably put your money, you're gonna probably, you could probably put your money into something else that's more useful than an all-wheel electric bike. That's just my opinion. So don't look forward for me for an all-wheel electric bike video from me. So another thing, you know, I only I only ended up riding one day in the snow. And that was the coldest day. After that, the uh, 
the weather warmed up enough that it's, the ice started melting, and I decided not to go out because I knew the uh, the uh, ground would start thawing, and it would just be too muddy for me to go off road. But at the same time, there was still ice, a potential to be ice on the road. And after slipping like I think twice, I slipped twice. The bike the bike slipped right underneath me for twice. One time I actually fell to the ground because the ice was, was so slippery. Even though I was prepared to fall and I had one foot off the pedal and ready to like dump the bike. And even though my foot hit the ground and I, and I, and I wasn't going to really fall, I still fell because the ice was slippery. So I slipped, my foot slipped on the ice. So I don't, I don't think all-wheel drive is very helpful in winter conditions, which I, I think maybe that would be the most ideal time to have an all-wheel drive. Uh, as far as wet conditions, I don't think it's any better. I don't think it's any better. And uh, I don't think it's any better. And. And uh, mud, dry dirt maybe, but even then it's kind of redundant at that point. You're, you're riding your bike at an ideal time. Anyways, uh, I might I might take the decomposed granite trail. I'll check it out. But uh, I'm gonna go start the uh, Google Earth view and uh, time lapse it just to save some time on me and uh, battery life on the camera. All right, so let's get to the uh, Google Earth maps, or, or Google Earth. Alright everyone, it didn't take too long for me to get warm, so I took off the jacket, but it is still cold. Uh, I'm just warmed up, and so there's a bike, and uh, I'll show you the, the levee here. Yeah, this is the levee right here. They just installed these. These are just, uh, I don't know what they call them. Uh, they open up uh, a way for all this levee water. To go out this way or vice versa go out the other way looks like it's flowing outwards out that way so anyways <laughs> it is a little bit muddy I don't know how much off-roading I'm gonna do uh, that's why I wear the frog tog and the boots it's already getting muddy here um, anyways let me get to uh, riding so uh, anyways, let me get riding and uh, I'll just do it this way.
I'm stopped over at the uh, bridge where I where I slipped, and uh, we'll take a quick look at it right now. And uh, actually, you can see it right right there. But uh, let's take a quick look. It has a lot of brine or sand or whatever you want to call it from the side of the road gets up on here. But uh, yeah, wow, what a difference. What a difference. Yeah, I think I slipped right, right about here, or was it right, was it right there? One, one of the two spots. But that was all iced up. See, that's no longer iced. So, wow, what a difference. Of course, it's uh, 40, 48 degrees, so I don't expect any snow. But uh, anyways, let's see how the rest of uh, how the rest of this place looks. I'm at the uh, I'm at the hill over here with the bike as you can see man there is a lot of uh, a lot of birds out here there's one right there's a turkey vulture right there let me show you looks like he got a fish or something Looks so like he got a little fish turkey vulture. That looks like a turkey vulture. Could be a just regular black vulture. It doesn't look like an eagle. Anyways. And uh, around here you can see a lot of birds flying around. Let's see if I could catch one here. You can see them. They are just flying all over the place. So the freeze is over. <laughs> the freeze is over. Okay, look at all these birds. I don't know what kind of birds they are. They're really small. It's a little windy out here. And this is uh, this is the hill right here. And you can see that some people have... Uh, so there's some people out here already training and getting out in the sun. Uh, they're enjoying it. And so am I. But look at all the dead. <laughs> look at all the dead, uh, I don't know what you call them, uh, plants along the, uh, the lakes out here. They all died from the freeze. I don't know if they're going to recover. Uh, some of my plants are definitely uh, been damaged. But overall, overall the freeze is gone. Thank goodness. I think a lot of people had busted pipes. Let's check on that. Let's check on that. A turkey vulture. Yeah, still eating away whatever's there. It must be dead. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy riding the rest of my bike out here. 